why india keeps buying russian oil despite american and european sanctions is sawal ke jawab ko paane ke liye take a look at this image this image was taken at the india russia summit held in new delhi in late 2021 jahan pe both the sides pledged to further deepen their relationship but a couple of months later comes 2022 and as 2022 begins so begins the russia ukraine war और जहां की रशिया और यूक्रेन का एक वॉर चालू होता है यूरोप अप्लाई सैंक्शन यूएस एंड इंडियन लीडर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी मेट द रशियन प्राइमियर मिस्टर पोटन ऑन द साइड लाइन्स ऑफ द एस सी ओ और एस सी ओ समिट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू जहां पर एक बहुत ही वेल एक्लेम स्टेटमेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी ने बोला एंड दैट वॉज दैट दिस इज नॉट एन एरा फॉर वॉर एंड दिस स्टेटमेंट वॉज सीन एज अ स्टेटमेंट दैट इंडिया इज पुशिंग रशिया टू एंड इट्स वॉर विथ यूक्रेन पर इसके बाद जो हुआ दैट वॉज इवन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग कि ओवर द नेक्स्ट ईयर वेन यू लुक एट दिस ग्राफ इट शोज कि थ्रू आउट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इंडिया जो एक बहुत ही स्मॉल बायर ऑफ रशियन ऑयल था उसने रशियन ऑयल प्रोक्योरमेंट को रैपिडली अप स्केल किया सो मच सो दैट ऑलमोस्ट फ्रॉम जीरो मिलियन बैरल पर ईयर से इंडिया का ऑयल ऑफ प्रोक्योरमेंट इंक्रीज हो गया ऑलमोस्ट वन मिलियन यानी दस लाख बैरल्स पर ईयर और ये रैपिड इंक्रीज ऑफ इंडियन परचेज ऑफ रशियन ऑयल हैज बीन अ मैटर ऑफ मच कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी सो सवाल ये उठता है कि वाई डिस्पाइट स्ट्रॉन्ग क्रिटिसिजम एंड सैंक्शन बाई यू एस यूरोप एंड अदर प्लेयर्स इंडिया has continued to buy russian oil and despite uh, india speaking at the sco summit that this is not an era for war the answer for this question lies in two important phrases one is energy security and the second is strategic autonomy and these two phrases and words have been repeatedly used by india to explain ki kyo india has been buying and will continue to buy russian oil irrespective of criticisms and sanctions by us europe and the west in general let's quickly understand what is energy security energy security hota kya hai energy security is any country's intention to ensure that its oil gas coal or other sources of energies are available to it in a affordable manner second its supplies must remain uninterrupted and thirdly increasingly energy policies are focusing on ensuring ki aapke energy sources are clean or green so that the greenhouse gas emissions are lower to understand how india's energy security is related to its foreign policy please first understand two things ki india ki jo energy requirement hai it is continuing to increase or it is a inelastic demand जो कम नहीं होने वाली है बढ़ ही रही है और बढ़ेगी ही बिकॉज इंडिया पॉपुलेशन इंडस्ट्रियल ग्रोथ ऑल इज सेट टू इंक्रीज सेकेंड इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड कि इंडिया की एनर्जी नीड तो बढ़ ही रही है बट अ लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ इट्स ऑयल एंड गैस सप्लाईज इंडिया एक्चुअली इंपोर्ट्स फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज इंडिया का डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्शन इज नॉट इन अ पोजिशन टू मीट इट्स ऑयल एंड गैस डिमांड्स टेक अ लुक एट दिस ग्राफ वेन यू लुक एट दिस ग्राफ आप देखेंगे कि इंडिया का डोमेस्टिक ऑयल प्रोडक्शन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन स्टैगनेंट एंड एक्चुअली इसकी डिमांड बढ़ती ही जा रही है सो मच सो कि इंडिया इंपोर्ट्स मोर देन 75 परसेंट ऑफ इट्स ऑयल एंड एनर्जी नीड्स ऑयल एंड गैस नीड्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑन अ डेली और अ ईयरली बेसिस सो लेट्स क्विकली अंडरस्टैंड वट आर द चैलेंजेस फॉर इंडियाज एनर्जी सिक्योरिटी द फर्स्ट चैलेंज इज द चैलेंज ऑफ इंश्योरिंग अन इंटरप्टेड अवेलेबिलिटी so the word uninterrupted here is very important because it's important for indian foreign policy makers to ensure ki oil or gas supplies india ka available ho par ek uninterrupted manner mein and agar aaj aap dekhen to for example in west asia there are tensions between saudi arabia arabia and iran and both of them are big suppliers of oil if you look for example there are already uh, a war ongoing between russia and ukraine and russia also is a major oil supplier to the world and irrespective of the fact ki whether saudi arabia iran russia india ko oil supply kar rahe hain ki nahi kar rahe but if they go to war with each other or enter into conflict with each other so there is a disruption of the global oil supplies aur agar global oil supplies ka disruption hota hai 
तो इट विल अफेक्ट द इंडियन इकोनॉमी ऑल्सो बिकॉज द कॉस्ट ऑफ ऑयल एज वेल एज द सप्लाई रूट विल गेट इम्पैक्ट सो ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू थिंक अपार्ट फ्रॉम वॉर्स यू कैन थिंक ऑफ द सुएस कैनाल क्राइसिस जो एक और रिसेंटली अनदर देवर द सुएस कैनाल क्राइसिस वेयर द शिप एवर ग्रीन वॉज ब्लॉकिंग द सुएस कैनाल विच ब्लॉक द मूवमेंट ऑफ शिप्स थ्रू द सुएस कैनाल and international container traffic was disrupted to the extent ki oil supplies and oil prices increased so expected and unexpected shocks can always come in oil supplies and a foreign policy of a country needs to keep such a kind of dangers in mind to ek to the challenges of uninterrupted availability the second is the challenge of making this energy supply affordable it's important for india and india's petroleum and oil minister hardeep puri who's also been a previous foreign service diplomat has repeatedly argued that india ke liye important hai not just uninterrupted supply but also a very important thing is that the cost of oil production must be less kyunki we need to provide oil and gas to our people our citizens at a low cost so cost ko bhi low rakhna zaruri hai and that also is a reason that india will continue to buy oil from whichever country whether it's a saudi arabia or a russia which is willing to supply oil to india at a lower price the third important challenge for india's energy security is to ensure ki india buys oil uh, buys energy sources or produces energy in a green manner jiska climate change pe impact kam se kam ho ya greenhouse gas emissions kam se kam us cheez ke liye it's important ki india renewable energy ka procurement or production apne energy ke liye badhaye and for that if india needs to work with other countries and establish relations technology transfers with russia or uh, technology transfers with france usa to work in solar energy or wind energy india must work on that direction also so for example government of india ka target hai ki by 2030 500 gigawatts of electricity uh, production happens through renewable energy and a big portion of it almost 280 gigawatts of uh, energy must come through solar energy and solar energy may be we can cooperate with countries like USA France etc also so now let's quickly try to understand ki india apni energy security ensure karne ke liye kya foreign policy actions le raha hai one of the first things india's foreign policy makers are ensuring and are trying to do is ki india wants to diversify its oil procurement away from west asia आज भारत की मोर देन 60% परसेंट ऑफ ऑयल एंड गैस नीड्स कम फ्रॉम वेस्ट एशियन कंट्री एंड पार्टली वाई इंडिया वॉन्ट्स टू डाइवर्सिफाई अवे फ्रॉम वेस्ट एशिया टू प्रोक्योर ऑयल फ्रॉम अफ्रीका लैटिन अमेरिका इवन नॉर्थ अमेरिका और फॉर दैट मैटर रशिया ऑल्सो इज बिकॉज इफ इन वेस्ट एशिया देर इज अ मेजर वॉर इन्वॉल्विंग सऊदी अरेबिया एंड ईरान इन द फ्यूचर ऑयल सप्लाईज टू इंडिया मस्ट नॉट बी डिस्टर्ब सेकेंड even within west asia india wants to diversify its oil procurement agar aap west asia ke andar dekhe to the three major oil suppliers today are saudi arabia iraq and the uae but ek country west asia mein abhi missing hai jo historically has been a big oil supplier to india which is that country it is iran iran earlier was supplying even 10 to 12% of india's oil supplies between 2008 to 12 but today iran oil supplies to india has always almost dropped to zero part of that reason is the us sanctions on iran par india also wants to also focus a third major step and that is on renewable energy but before we come to renewable energy take a look at these charts the first chart us is this chart of 2020 aap is chart mein dekhenge ek interesting fact that the portion mentioned in yellow that tiny portion mentioned in yellow is oil procurement from russia jo 2020 tak sirf 1% se bhi kam tha aur ek aur portion is the adjacent portion of portion of usa jahan se india ne oil product procurement chalu kiya hi after 2015 hai and usa started supplying almost 5% of india's total oil needs but if you look at this next pie chart it tells an interesting story ki by 2022 firstly india ne west asia se oil supply 60% se reduce karte hue partly 54% tak kiya second what india has done is that the oil procurement from russia has increased from less than 1% to 
to almost 14 percent. So, a dramatic jump of India's oil procurement why from less than one percent to 14 percent as far as Russia is concerned within one year or so. Second, पर आपको एक चीज और समझने की जरूरत है कि on the one side India ने Russia से oil production procurement increase किया है, but India has also continued to increase oil procurement from USA also. India is saying to both US and Russia, we will buy oil from both US and Russia because we need to meet our energy needs at the lowest cost possible. So this message is gone both to Washington as well as to Kremlin. That it is important to understand India's energy security needs and why India, Russian oil or US oil, both of them are interested in buying because its energy needs are high and does not want to oblige US or West by falling in line with the Western sanctions on Russia. So I hope that these maps give you an important sense. Next, the third important part of India's foreign policy pillar. to achieve energy security is to focus on renewable energy and uske liye india is working closely in renewable energy and particularly in solar energy with whom with france where both the sides have actually formulated the international solar alliance as an effort joint effort to promote solar energy production not just in india but also in the sub saharan african countries which receive abundant sunlight and this will help india's energy diplomacy also meeting its own energy needs also by providing loans sanctions and supports to solar projects but also will help india and developing countries to meet energy security while fighting the issue of climate change also so to in a nutshell if i was to summarize kya india will continue to buy russian oil despite european criticism the answer is yes the indian foreign minister jay shankar to mr ardeep puri to the indian foreign policy establishment has time and again said india values is strategic autonomy ki india kis country se kya oil khareedega ya kya uh, relations rakhega ye india ka independent decision hai and it will not fall under pressure from us or western powers to fulfill which are in a conflict with russia india it also doesn't mean that india will not criticize russia if needed in fact prime minister modi statement that india has told russia that it is not an era of war is baat ko darshata hai that india is not uh, being blind to the russia ukraine conflict and is trying to put pressure partly through diplomatic channels on russia to bring the conflict to an end but iska matlab ye nahi hai that to bring the conflict to an end india will disrupt its oil supplies from russia please also keep in mind india russia relationship is not merely about oil russia and india have been strong partners in the defense arena and also since the cold war era as well so india russia relationship goes beyond oil and india will not and will not fall in line with us and western sanctions because india and russia have been long term partners this is not a new relationship and india will not compromise its interest uh when it comes to its relationship with other countries because of us and western sanctions i hope this brief video has made sense to you has given you an insight on india's foreign policy decisions and why those decisions have been taken if you like the video please like share and subscribe and we will continue to make such videos in the future as well